37 million damage, boys and girls. 37 million damage. This is the future. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sigol Green here. And today we are going to take a look at a pip that managed to deal 37.3 million damage against Horrific Scarecrow. And that's a world record as far as I'm aware. And at the same time, I'll teach you guys uh, how this was possible and what you need to do to up your Black Manta gameplay all the way to that point when you're fighting or if you care yourself. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A lot of you are not subscribed, only takes one click and you can always change your mind. And big shout out to Kalos, he's going to be the person featured in this video and he, I think, currently holds the world record for damage on Horrific Scarecrow if I'm not wrong. So yeah, go ahead and check out his video, show him some love, links will be in the description and in the pinned comment. With all that being said, let's get into it. So first up we're going to take a look at the fight overall and I'm going to comment on it a little bit and then we are going to go over uh, what the team composition is, what the artifact setup is and then we are going to go over uh, the exact combo that he's doing uh, in slow motion. I'm going to explain it to you and I'm going to show you a way to actually practice that combo without wasting a pip in uh, either rates or solo rates. Uh, so uh, he's going to basically do the infinite combo with Black Manta until the uh, end of the fight. He got his other characters killed because uh, that's pretty much what you need to do against Horrific Scarecrow because his damage is split amongst all your teammates and uh, you are going to get tagged in and out randomly and currently there's no team as far as I'm aware that uh, is not going to play with only one member alive. And uh, pretty much this is going to be the false fight keeping combo interruption. A thing that you should note is the fact that he had energy long before uh, now to do his super move. But he waits to do his super move when Horrific Scarecrow is also able to do the super move. Because doing the super move is going to place uh, you and your opponent in the middle of the map. And uh, after doing your super move Horrific Scarecrow might use an ability, might do something. And he was the Horrific Scarecrow is going to use his super move anyway. So the best way is to use your super move right when he has max energy. So he uses his super move after so you don't get two placements in the middle of the map and you can uh, re begin your combo with again. And the rest of the fight is pretty much self-explanatory. It's going to be a perfect combo interruption until the end of the fight. You're going to see that he's doing a full combo that means uh, tap three times, swipe right, tap three times, swipe right. And after that combo is finished he's going to block the first attack of Horrific Scarecrow and he's going to begin the combo yet again. You can easily do that because uh, with Horrific Scarecrow, the thing is his attack animation is going to be very slow on the second attack. Uh, and uh, that's what allows you to do this combo. Because uh, the uh, time between his first attack and his second attack is going to allow you a window of opportunity in which you can block it and begin the combo yet again. Doing this is going to prevent him from using abilities, it's going to prevent him from doing jump attacks, and uh, he's, it's not going to prevent him from doing uh, the... Uh, Super move, but other than that, he's not going to do anything. And this is going to happen because uh, usually the uh, uh, AI of the bosses is going to work in a way that they don't really uh, want to use their abilities straight away. And they would first like to kind of chain a combo, even if you block it, even if you don't block it, they might use an ability or do a jump attack first of all, and uh, then do an ability from that. But they are not going to uh, straight away begin with an ability. And that's why this poor horrific scarecrow here is trying to chain a combo and is being constantly bullied. And the fight's almost over, you can see that uh, combo meter has gotten all the way to 600 hits at this point. It's going even higher and Horrific Scarecrow is pretty much not uh, going to be able to do anything. And uh, the last few hits in. And there we go. It's going to be a total of... 37 million damage boys and girls, 37 million damage. So, first of all, uh, let's talk about his team and then let's talk about Black Manta himself. For the team, you're going to need Just League the Flash and Brainiac. And uh, for their artifacts, uh, you shouldn't really put any artifact. The only artifact you could put is Metahuman if you decide to use Firebox on uh, Black Manta instead of Flaws of Force, but we'll get into that later. And uh, you should remove all the gears from them because you need them to die, obviously. But while dying, you should kind of consider trying not to get them hit with an ability because uh, if uh, the characters that you want to die get hit with an ability while not blocking, then it's going to transfer far more damage than you can handle on Black Manta. 
Uh, in terms of Black Manta, his artifact choice uh, should be Claws of Horus, as you can see in this video. Uh, you could also use the Firebox, but you, uh, but Firebox is most likely going to be a much lower level than your Claws of Horus, and I'm unaware of how much damage you'll do with the Firebox, I only have the data as you can see with Claws of Horus, so Claws of Horus is going to be the safe choice for Black Manta. And that's pretty much it for the team setup if you need a build for Black Manta. I already have one and I'll put links to it in the description and in the pinned comment. So breaking this down into section you'll start the fight with Black Manta in and eventually your other characters will get tagged in. And when that happens you need them to die as fast as possible but at the same time you should be careful so Horrific Scarecrow does not hit uh, any of your characters with an unblocked special 2 because that will deal a huge amount of damage to Black Manta. They can uh, be hit by special 1s, it's not going to do that much harm and it might even speed up the process of the other character dying but be careful with that special 2 and try to get them killed as fast as possible because their purpose there is only to be support characters and they need to die so the Black Manta can... Uh, be the only one fighting and dealing the damage. When it comes to the abilities, the only thing that you're going to use is the super move, because using the special tree is not really worth it and might break your combo and overall results in less damage than actually just using basic attacks. And compared to your basic attacks, it's not even going to deal that much damage, especially considering you are the fact that you're going to use tab, and tab is not going to give you the most attack in the world, so you'll rely on all your basic attacks. So don't use the special tree, but use the super move. When it comes to using the super move as mentioned previously, you need to do it uh, right when the horrific scarecrow is also able to do his super move. Because after someone does the super move, you'll be reset in the middle of the battlefield. And by doing yours and then uh, making him do his, you are going to avoid having to start from the middle of the map and getting awkwardly placed uh, two times. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the abilities, don't do anything except for the super move. Now, getting in what you're going to do most likely 90% of the fight, if correctly, you're going to do the interruption combo on a Horrific Scarecrow, and you're going to do this by tapping 3 times, swiping right, tapping 3 times, swiping right, then blocking his first attack and re-engaging the combo. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, it's not that simple and it's going to take you some time to practice. Now, let's first of all watch it in slow motion, and then I'll give you some tips to get this done a little bit better, and uh, I'll tell you where to practice it. Okay, now we're in 0.5 speed and let, uh, let's wait for the combo to begin again. Okay, tap, 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 swipe right, tap, 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 swipe right, block and uh, immediately re-engage uh, the attack on him and repeat the combo again and again. Let's watch it a little bit slower this time. Okay, we're going to transition in uh, a 0 0.24 speed in a moment block his first attack and immediately re-engage the combo tap 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 swipe right tap 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 swipe right you can see that he's already blocking and he's hitting the attack while the first attack is already in the air from horrific scarecrow was that too fast for you okay i can do okay, even slower so this is like 0 0.125 i can't go slower than that Swipe right, tap, actually that was a swipe right, and as you can see he's blocking and re-engaging the attack immediately before Horrific Scarecrow gets to finish his attack animation, tap, one, two, and the third time, god damn Black Man's got some slick animations, swipe right, tap, one, two, three times and swipe right and after the swipe right or in the middle of the swipe right you should already be uh, pressing your block and you should press the attack command just as he's about to land his first basic attack because in just two mobiles got a little bit of a delay like the character will execute uh, their uh, things like uh, somewhere around 0 0.24 seconds later uh, considering when you press it, and in 99% of the scenarios that thing does not matter, but over here it does matter.
And as promised, there's a wonderful place where you can practice this as long as you need to without having to waste pips in raids or soul raids. You can go ahead and go in the campaign and in the campaign you'll find, uh, uh, I'm not sure the chapter, the chapter with the Wonder Woman fights. In the chapter with the Wonder Woman fights you'll see a fight that has like uh, Superman on the cover, but you'll fight Horrific Scarecrow in that one. And you can interrupt Horrific Scarecrow with Wonder Woman. And yes, I know it's not a Black Manta, but that's uh, the uh, most reliable way to practice it again and again. And it's basically going to be the same concept. And that's how you learn to do it before you get into a raid. A Batman Jack Catwoman can do this and Kim Francisca Aquaman can do this. And they are the other two characters that you'll use here. So it's best so uh, that you practice it uh, as much as you're able to. So yeah, this is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Check out Cuddles, link in the description. And I will see you all in the next video.